Back in 2015, a 5p bag charge was introduced for every plastic bag we used in a shop. It was a charge that had been in effect in Scotland, Wales and Ireland for many years. But when it was introduced here, there were still many of us English folks asking, why, what's the point, and when will we be getting our free plastic bags back? The truth of the matter is we use a lot of plastic. One main reason for the 5p charge is so we as a nation use less bags. It is estimated that over half of all plastic produced in the world is single use, designed for a one-time use and then to be chucked away. Plastic makes up so many aspects of our day-to-day -day lives. The camera filming me now has plastic in it. The seat I'm sitting on has plastic in it. And of course, the plastic bag has plastic in it. Animals in the sea around the world will be jumping for joy that the UK will be throwing away less plastic. But what you should be asking now is, what does the plastic bag have to do with the ocean? The truth of the matter is a lot of the plastic we use ends up in the sea. 280 million tonnes of plastic is produced each year and it is suggested that up to 10% of that will end up in there. As much as 88% of the open ocean surface contains plastic debris. The larger bits of plastic are known to cause graphic images of harm to a whole host of different species. However, these larger bits of plastic can also be broken down by the toing and froing of the ocean, eventually disintegrating down to microplastics. The term microplastics refers to any pieces of plastic that are less than 5 mm in size. Originally, it was thought that the tiny bits of plastic would only be found at the surface of the ocean. However, there is now evidence that microplastics are abundant in sediments right at the bottom of the sea too, so basically are abundant all around the globe in all parts of the sea. Microplastics come from a variety of different sources. You might find them in your toothpaste and beauty products. Little nurdles of plastic are used in many different industrial processes and bigger macroplastics such as the plastic bag can also be broken down until they will be defined as microplastics too. You might be thinking that these microplastics will do no harm. Surely they'll just pass straight through the body of an animal. But unfortunately, this isn't the case. Slowly but surely, scientists are realising that microplastics aren't just passing through marine organisms, but they're actually becoming part of the animal's body. A study on mussels found that when plastic was present in the mussels' environment, not only were the mussels taking up the plastic, but it was actually being retained within their system. Perhaps the even more worrying part was that nerves of plastic were being found even 48 days after exposure. It is clear that microplastics in the marine environment are being taken up by organisms such as the mussel. What is less clear to us at the moment is the effect this could have on the organisms themselves. As I mentioned, studies have shown that microplastics will be taken up by mussels, as well as other marine invertebrates such as oysters, cockles and whelks. In the last couple of years, studies have developed further to ask whether microplastics can be passed up the food chain. Research has found that plastic previously ingested by blue mussels was then found in the blood, stomach and gills of the crab that ate the mussel. From that research, we know that it is possible for plastic to be passed on from the bottom of the food chain right to the top. And we all know who the top predator on the planet is. There are many that might consider eating shellfish, such as mussels and lobsters, as a luxury. But because of their low position in food chains, they provide a sustainable option for meat. And in the not so distant future, animals like the mussel could become an important component of our diets. This makes it increasingly worrying that mussels found for human consumption have even more microplastics in their system than mussels found in the wild. A study in 2014 estimated how many particles of plastic would be present in an average shellfish portion, and from this, the average number of particles consumed by an average European in a year. In a 250 gram portion of mussels, 90 particles of plastic were present. Add this to the consumption of other sea-dwelling animals containing plastic, it was worked out that a human could take up to 11,000 particles of plastic in a year. 11,000 might seem like a large amount, but the truth is, it probably isn't really that much. I wanted to check with an expert in this field, see if there was fuss to be made over this 11,000 particles a year figure. So I spoke to Professor Tamara Galloway of the University of Exeter 
about the impact that plastics in sea organisms could have on human beings. Well, the trouble is that we really don't know. We have no evidence at all whether eating that number of plastic particles would cause a health effect. And the reason for that is that we simply haven't looked. We don't know how to do those studies and we don't know how to compare the chemicals that might be on plastic particles with the chemicals that might be in the food already. But it's a real research gap. It's something that we ought to be studying. I think we've got sufficient evidence now that um, every single sample that we look at from the marine environment, wherever we get that sample, if we study it, we'll find that it has microplastic particles in it. So it's not just a random problem that happens somewhere else. It's a problem that's affecting all of us. Um, we know that at particularly contaminated sites, um, animals are consuming enough plastic to cause themselves harm. What we don't know is what that means on a global scale. But what we do know is that it's something that we can do something about. Stop chucking stuff in the sea and we'll get rid of the problem. So there we have it. In 10 years time, we could be having fish, plastic and chips, or a pint of plastic water. Whether eating plastic will harm us is yet to be discovered, but it's a strange thought that we could be eating the plastic we thought was there to carry our shopping. The 5p bag charge is certainly good for the environment, potentially life-saving for the animal, such as the crab, and if it means no plastic on my plate, it's marvellous for me too.